Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming back. My name is Carlton Stiff, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to run through a quick demo on how to install SQL on a Mac to create a database and a table. Um, first things first, you're going to need Docker and Azure. So Docker desktop for Mac is required to, um, to get SQL Server running on your Mac. And you're gonna grab a container, Microsoft SQL Server, you're gonna grab this container and pull it into Docker in order to create a container. The container is gonna be used for creating a database. So once that's downloaded, download Azure Data Studio as well. Then you're going to go to your terminal and you're going to type the following. You're going to type docker run dash d. So dash d launches the container in daemon road. So it runs in the background. Dash dash name. You're going to give it your container name. Um, and you're going to use this name to start and stop the container from your terminal. Um, dash E except E U L A equals Y. Um, this sets an environment variable in the container named except E underscore E U L A to the value of Y. This is required to run SQL Server in Linux. Um, what else? Dash E. This right here is sets the environment variable for the SA database password. This is your also this is your password right here. So this is required. Um, this right here, MS SQL underscore PID equals developer. This sets an environment variable to instruct SQL Server to run as the developer edition. This dash P fourteen thirty three. This maps the local port to the containers port. Um, so SQL Server by default listens for connection on TCP port fourteen forty three. And this final parameter, which can be found on Docker Hub, um. This is what we're going to pull right here. And this tells Docker which image to use. So once we have all that typed in, we hit enter and we type Docker PS. We should see our Docker container and our name of our container up and running. Anytime we want to stop this container, we can say Docker stop T SQL demo db docker ps there's no container running but if we want to get it running again we could say docker start t sql demo db and our container should be up and running now so once we have that container up and running we can go ahead and um we can launch Azure Data Studio and create a um, we can create a table. So let's open up, open this up. Uh, I'll create a new query, and we're going to say use master tell. SQL to drop the database if this exists. So if our T-SQL demo database exists, we're going to start with a fresh, with a fresh database. So this So, drop the database if it exists, and if it 
does not exist, or if it does exist, we're going to create a new database. And then we're going to use it finally. TC Now, since I'm disconnected, it's going to um, it's going to yell at me, telling me to put in my credentials. So, since we're on localhost, our server is the localhost. Our username, if you're using the defaults, is SA. And into your super duper, super duper duper secret password. Connect. And here's our database. T SQL demo DB, but our tables are empty. So let's create a table. All right. Um, as you can see, our, we have successfully created a database on a Mac. So let's create a table called customers. I can spell it correctly, customers, yeah, customers. And we'll create a customer, one customer, we'll create a customer column, and we'll create a country column. Watch our, yeah, we'll create the, uh, make the customer. Usually you want to create an ID and make that as the primary key, but since this isn't a real database, this is just a demo. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how to create these two. So country, I'm going to make a country column, the bar char of 20, and make this null. In the statement with a semicolon, run, and everything should be completed now. And we have two tables. We should have one table, I'm sorry, one table for customers with two columns. All right, that was it. Um, and as you can see, it's really simple to create a database on a Mac and use it for your local projects um, and you can use this table and recreate it in azure for the cloud and you can use something like um, azure or aws to recreate this database using a um, soft using azure or aws so if that's it that's it that's all i have for right now um, if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, hit me up at Carlton Stiff. Leave a comment below. Like my video. Like my channel. Share. Subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace out.